This ain't gonna be like those tests, you know. This is the real deal. Civ casualties is a non-issue. You go after Chang and get his chip. I'll go for the mainframe, see what they got in there. Showtime. Hello and welcome. I'm Jeff Gaiman, EA's executive producer for Syndicate. This mission is part of Executive Search, an early level of the game. Installed in your head is a Dart 6 chip, a militarized version of the consumer chip. As well as being your guide, Dart enables the player to perceive the digital world and also hack it. This is called breaching. Okay. This is where we split up. I'll stay in touch by chip link. Make sure you get the job done. Just find the asshole and get his chip. What are you? Ah! Adrenal surge receptor is fully charged. You're in my way. Have fun. You are Agent Miles Kilo, and together with your friend and mentor, Agent Merritt, you are raiding rival syndicate Aspari to retrieve stolen chip technology from their top biochip scientist, Gary Chang. Breaching comes in two forms. Dart 6 overlays systems in the world that I might breach. Security doors are just a simple example of breaching the environment. But as the game progresses, I can start to invade the minds of the enemy, driving them homicidally insane and in this case, compelling them to violently commit suicide. behavior from breach uploading log file to Eurocorp R&D breaching the chips of the enemy is dynamic in combat and when strategically used is what turns the tide of any combat situation at this point in the level we are digitally camouflaged dart has hacked the aspari net so to the security systems we appear to be an aspari consumer Your perception is augmented with ambient information from the Dataverse. Systems in the environment can be breached to add or remove cover. Breaches often have a longer effective range than a weapon and don't require direct line of sight. Soft asset Gary Chang, line of sight. As well as the core shooting experience, there's always an element of navigation and puzzle solving to Syndicate. encrypted transmission to soft asset Gary Chang. You think he knew we were sharing data? I don't know. We're sending agents for you, Gary. You gotta get out of there. Oh, shit. Do you they must be brave agents. It's got to get out. Running decryption for full cleanup. At this point, Chang has triggered the alarm, and security is now alerted to our presence. Shit. Come on, come on. 
Come on! If you try to kill me, I'll blow the chip. That's what you came for, right? You'll never stop us! Ripping the chips from the head of senior executives gives Dart-6 the ability to analyze the technology and harvest upgrades. Each piece of ripped technology allows the player to upgrade their systems as they progress through the game. Extraction complete. Upgrading. Exactly how the upgrades tie together yields further bonuses for the player. Reaching more complex systems like defense turrets makes short work of low-level security forces. Another feature of the Dart 6 chip is the Dart overlay. For a limited time, I can perceive the dataverse as my chip sees it. Time dilates and the electronic signatures of the enemy are revealed to me, even through walls. Doing this also floods my body with adrenaline, so I can take and deal more damage, as well as move and reload faster. All of these features are upgradable as I progress through the game. What the... Now things start to hot up. Here I've acquired the first legacy weapon, the formidable AMW-56 Gauss gun. Ceramic ADAP glass. Armored against projectile and thermal assault. Susceptible to high caliber impact at low temperatures. Lock on your target and the round curves around corners and cover. To the bottom left of the screen, you can see my breach application slowly recharging. Breaches are fueled by adrenaline. To recharge them faster, you need to generate adrenaline by staying in the thick of the action. More kills, more breaches, more executions, then the faster your breaches recharge and the more intense the action. All weapons have an alternate fire mode. Pistols might have a burst mode, but assault rifles may have fully auto or an alternate single shot scope mode. This is the TAR assault rifle with underslung grenade launcher. In addition to suicide, I now have the ability to persuade an enemy to fight on my side or to cause multiple weapons to backfire. Now we're approaching our escape vehicle, which is under siege from the Aspari assault forces. Extraction vehicle.
Many enemies in the game have shields which need to be breached before they can be taken out. Sadly, our escape route is beyond help, so I guess we'll have to find alternate means of escape, fighting our way through the populated areas of Aspari's HQ. I hope you've enjoyed this brief look at an early level of Syndicate. Make sure to check back for paydays every 1st and 15th of each month for exclusive access.